voice and bringing everybody into this fight. You guys brought in the whole world. When I went to Standing Rock, I experienced something that I will probably, I, I'm afraid I won't ever experience again, and that was just see all these indigenous people from all over the Americas and across the world. We all came to the same place. And all that medicine that we have together, it was all the same place. And you know how strong our medicine is when we're at home. The way it was when we were all together, all of our prayers, all that medicine that we ate and that we drank and that we smoked, we breathed in, we stayed with, we all breathed together. That was so powerful. I will never ever forget that. You guys did that. You guys made that possible for the world. So we thank you. And we honor you every day. Indigenous youth from all over the Great Plains, such as the Standing Rock Sioux and Cheyenne River Sioux Nations, were welcomed by the Meskwaki Nation in Iowa. Some of the Meskwaki have joined in their run to Washington, D.C., where they will urge President Biden to shut down the Dakota Access Pipeline and stop Line 3. Climate change is inevitable if we allow the fossil fuel industry to continue to extract and exploit stolen land. President Biden has promised in his Tribal Nation plan, quote, to build a more resilient, sustainable economy, one that will put the United States on an irreversible path to achieve net zero gas emission economy-wide by no later than 2050. He will partner with Tribal Nations to get there, end quote. Join the Standing Rock Youth Council, Respect Our Water, Cheyenne River Grassroots Collective, and many others on April 1st by telling President Biden to uphold his promise to Tribal Nations. And as always, Minnie Wachoni, water is life, shut it down.